Maddie and welcome back to a new video so today I have my sister here and um, she's gonna be my model today so um, this has been requested by a lot of people but they want to see some hair tutorials so I am going to show you five easy ways to do your hair and they are super quick and the only thing it requires are hair ties and a brush so, I'm not allowed to talk in this video so let me just say one thing everyone go subscribe to my YouTube channel <laughs> Yeah, everyone go subscribe to Mackenzie's channel. Oh, you're so nice! And oh, give her some love. So if you want to see these quick hairstyles, then keep on watching. Okay guys, so this first hairstyle is super, super easy. And I just start by fluffing her hair just to give some texture. And then I'm going to part it half up, half down. And it's okay if it's not completely perfect. I feel like every look that I'm going to be showing you today is more messy and more carefree, so just have fun with it. And now I am just going to twist it and start to wrap it in the bun. Now this is not supposed to be a perfect ballet bun. This is going to be more messy. So I would say the messier the better. And not right away you're gonna have your perfect bun. I think it's really all about just kind of playing along with it and really just making minor details and kind of just placing the bun exactly where you want it. And you don't even need bobby pins for this. And now I'm just pulling the hairs out in the front, kind of like the baby hairs. And I think this really adds so much to the look and I think it's super, super cute. Now what I'm doing is I'm adding some texture and yeah, that's basically it for this look. Okay, so this next look, I'm starting by parting her hair on the side. She naturally parts her hair on the left, so that's exactly what I did. And now I'm about to French braid her hair. And if you don't know how to French braid, it's just a normal braid, but every time you go to cross over, you add hair. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but I'm just trying to explain as best as I can. And yeah, I'm not doing a French braid around the whole head. I'm just doing kind of to about where her ear is, and then I'm going to braid about halfway and then put a ponytail on as you can see right here so once i've secured the braid uh this is what it looks like and i also pulled some hair out in the front too and now she's just holding the braid while i put the rest of her hair into a ponytail and i love to do these in different sections i love to do the braid first and then do the ponytail but yeah once again I know I keep saying this but this look is all about kind of like more messy and not about being completely perfect so yeah um, she's making really weird faces but now I'm just taking the braid and adding it to the pony so I did one more ponytail holder and I brought them together and I'm just kind of like pulling the braid apart to make it more messy and now I am doing a top knot and this also is not going to be completely perfect, but I totally think this is so cute with the braid and it adds so much to this look. And once again, I'm just kind of fidgeting around with the bun and just making it to my liking. And yeah, here are the final touches. Okay, so this next look is probably the easiest out of all of them and I'm literally just showing you how to do like a texturized ponytail without any product. So first I'm just pulling out the baby hairs again because I love that look so much. I think it's super super cute and I'm really just want to make this ponytail as 
carefree and looked like you barely tried it all. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And yeah, I'm just gonna secure it with a ponytail. And it's really okay if it's not completely perfect. Like there can be bumps and yeah, I really, really, really loved how this turned out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna kind of fluff the ponytail and make it really, really, really poofed in a way. And I'm also gonna pull out the front hairs kind of to give a poof in the front. So I really, really liked how this turned out and it's super cute to have it kind of teased and messy and I really, really like this and it's so easy to do. So yeah, this is just the texturized ponytail. <laughs> Okay guys, so I'm really sorry about the lighting. My camera died and I had to switch over to Kenzie's and for some reason hers isn't as good as mine. But what I'm doing is I just parted her hair back where she naturally parts it and I'm just gonna tie away the left side and now I'm gonna section off the right side too. And what I'm about to do is two twists and combine them together. But a tip that I really, really like to do is take the remaining hair and put it into a slick pony just so when I tie the two twists together, it's not bumpy underneath. So this is a really good tip if you wanna have really sleek and smooth hair. So what I'm doing is I'm going to just messily twist the right side first. And it's super, super easy. All you have to do is just twist your hair. And I'm also gonna pull baby hairs out, of course, because that's what I love to do. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just gonna twist this and twist it all the way down. And you're probably gonna get sick of me saying this, but we are gonna make it a little bit messier. And now I'm just gonna have Kenzie hold it and we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side and of course pull the baby hairs out. And yeah, I really think this is a cute hairstyle and something really, really, really easy. It looks harder than it is. And now I just tied the two twists together and what I love to do is I take the hair and just feed it through kind of where that hole in the gap is and it adds a really cool twisty effect which I really really recommend doing after you tie the two twists together and then of course just messing the twists up a little bit but after we do this we are going to take out the ponytail that we put underneath and it leaves you with a really smooth layer under the twist, which I really, really love. But yeah, um, this is the final touch. style is two Dutch braids and I'm gonna start by parting it in the middle and I know don't judge me the part isn't that straight but it's totally okay so what I'm first doing is just sectioning off the one side so it's easier to find the part but now for these French braids instead of going over like I did I'm gonna take the hair under so basically do the reverse of how to French braid normally and every time I'm just going to grab hair and then add it underneath and I really love doing this with two braids because I think it looks so 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 cute and this is probably Mackenzie's go-to hairstyle you guys probably see her wear all the time but definitely love doing this on her so yeah now I just sped it up because I think you guys really get the gist of it and it would be so long if we watched the whole thing in normal speed but yeah I'm just gonna do this and braid it all the way down to the bottom and just tie it with a hair tie and then after that I am going to repeat exactly what I did on the first side to the other side so yeah let's do that also I just want to point out really fast this was probably the most difficult thing doing on Mackenzie because she was facetiming your friends and not being a good model but I still appreciate her for doing the video with me <laughs> Okay, 
so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope this helped you a little bit if you don't really know what to do for your hairstyles and um, yeah these are super easy ways and those are probably like the five go-to hairstyles that I always do on Kenzie if we're going somewhere or if she doesn't have time to curl or straighten it this is a perfect thing to do without even using heat and you only need a hair tie and a brush so it's pretty simple but thank you guys so much for watching and comment down below which one was your favorite hairstyle and also leave down some suggestions of what you would like me to do next so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye